Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Is It RPG Maker? Saw this game on YouTube, I'm sure some of you devs out there get a lot of video videos from this guy. Pirate Software, he's always making these shorts, giving life advice and stuff, and he's devving a game. And well, the point of the series is to check out games that could be made in RPG Maker. We're not sure if they are, and there's there's no way you could possibly know if this game was made in RPG Maker. Who knows? Just gonna have to come with us and find out if it is. We'll see. Yeah. Go on and go on an adventure. Yeah, and as usual, we got Moo here, and I'm Wu TBM, so it's Moo and Wu. And I uh, guess we'll just uh, jump right into this thing and see what it's about. Well, cool. okay. Heartbound. Oh. Happy! Does he have to pee? Is he bouncing? Do I click? Did it? He's bouncing. Oh, I move. I move. Okay, there we go. There we go. No mouse controls. Tisk tisk. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Can't pet the dog. Oh. Puppy. Boof boof. He's out like a light. Aw. He dreaming. Oh, don't have him. Oh, we got a sweater. <laughs> there we go. All set to battle the day. No need to get dressed a second. I want more clothes. Give me more clothes. Yeah, Going back later. to bed seems like a bad idea. No, I always want to go back to bed as soon as I wake up. <laughs> More pets? More pets? Puppy. Oh, don't disturb the dog. Come on. No, nothing. Okay, let's go. Baron isn't even awake yet. Who's Baron? What? Maybe turn on the light? Oh. Whoa! Oh, God. Are you okay, buddy? <gasps> we can talk to the puppy. I think so. The light switch is toast, though. Okay. I'm going to head back to bed. This day is already soured up. Yes, back to bed. I love Perfect. bed. <laughs> Wait, what about breakfast? He has a valid point. We need breakfast. Dude, it's too early for food. No, it's not. Never too early. It's never too early for food. Where is your sense of adventure? Sleeping like we should be. I mean, yeah. Well, then why did he wake up and get dressed? You know, good question. <laughs> you know, I can't open the can. Oh, fine. Let's get going then. Your fault if anything else goes wrong. Why are you blaming the puppy? It's your fault. Well, at least outside. he's a party member, so maybe he'll help you. Too much water, not enough sun, just like the rest of this place. That plant looks kind of sad. It clearly needs an adventure. <laughs> Puppy wants to take everything on an adventure. Damn, okay. he must be up. Okay. That's okay. Maybe he's in a good mood today? Look at this game showing off this lighting tech. I know. Oh! Hey, kiddo. Oh, hey, moron. <laughs> the kitchen trash is overflowing. Go take it out. Oh, man. Problem solved. That wasn't so bad, right? Oh, puppy. Always the optimist. At least it's just the trash. Okay. Look at all the soda cans. It's... He's drinking lots of soda. Right. Soda. This broken painting clearly depicts a Slayer of Champions. But it's a horse, right? Yes. I don't know. What about this painting? Nothing. Turn that light on. Looks like the power is still on. That's good, at least. Things are looking up for our brave adventurers. Yes, puppy. I guess you're right. Let's press on, you silly mutt. Mutt? How rude. Aw. Puppy. Don't be angry. More soda. An exquisite shelf stands before you. Mmm, yes. Very exquisite. Dead flowers. Perfect. Ooh, this is cool, though. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Try to get it to flash lightning on you. See if that happens. Okay, I just or stand is here. it already over? Is it just a one-time thing? 
Look at the puppy shadow. Person shadow. You found a smelly sock. Gross. Oh, so why did we pick it up? It's your weapon now, maybe. <laughs> Definitely the best seat in the house. Okay. Oh, should I turn on this light? Okay. Turn it off. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> TV? You turned off the lightning. <laughs> I did. They just keep piling up. Wish she would quit already. Oh. Yeah, so it is bad for you. Oh, we turn on the light in the other room before we go in. Hmm. The can is over on the counter. I would open it myself, but pause and stuff. Of course. No thumbs. Just bite it. <laughs> Starving. Just bite right into it. This toaster looks like a champion. Turn on the stove? Yes. It's full of socks? You can't even wash them. There isn't any soap. Okay. A paint a can of Viking Feast brand dog food. Nice. That's my favorite one. Aw, oh, puppy. Everything in here has gone bad. Well, that's unfortunate. About the right size for a head. Uh, okay. Yeah. Collect the trash? Sure, we got socks, so might as well take the trash. Yeah, store everything in the inventory. Great. Now it's a fire hazard. Oh, I can't turn it off? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're catching everything on fire. Okay, so now do I just go feed Baron? Viking feast, garbage. Oh, no. Is he just going to open it with his bare hands? I guess yeah, so. Yeah, I guess, I guess so. The little ones that you hook your finger in and just... Yeah. Pull it out. The glorious Viking feast pours from the can into Baron's bowl. It has little axe-shaped meats in it. Wow. I always wanted to be a Viking. They're so cool. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure. Hurry up so we can get going. I'm already done. What? How did you finish so fast? With Viking power. Let's go finish our adventure. <laughs> he just like scarfed it down one bite. So I can't. I can't. I really can't turn this back off. Okay. All right. All right. All right. What if I turn off the light and go back in? Oh, it's dark. It's dark, but still on. Still on. Okay. Uh, shall we try going outside? Ooh. Okay. You live in the middle of nowhere. It's a forest trash. Throw out the garbage. Yeah. Yes. Store the garbage in a can that could never possibly be picked up. Yeah. The Vikings have slain the garbage monster. Yeah, you make a great Viking Yakna? Is that is that what is that? Thanks. You make a decent one yourself. Just decent? Alright, you make a great Viking. That's much better. Okay. Do we get to get this axe? Yes. Yeah. Murder. Getting ready for a Viking LARP? I won't judge you. No, real Viking. Real murder. Real murder. Okay. Is there a run button by chance? Shift? Usually, right? Is that what we've learned? Yeah. No. Shift. Alt? Uh, no. Whoops. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, can we, can we, we found a wet sock. Oh, I found the other sock. Uh, am I supposed to go somewhere? Can I cut this tree? No. And go 
through there? You Where are we supposed trapped. to be going? We're trapped. Uh, I guess go back in the house since you yeah. did the chore. I don't know. I guess so. Can I go in here? No. Okay. All right, let's go back in. Hey, Lore. Yeah, what's up? <clears throat> Just wanted to say I had a really good time today. Yeah, me too. Let's head back to the bed, all right? No, is the puppy going to die? Sounds good, buddy. I don't like this. Can I turn this off? If I go outside, will it... Oh, it is off. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. That's cool. Okay, let's go back up. <laughs> Last one. There's a rotten egg. What? Last one, there's a rotten egg. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, last one, they... Oh, God, brain. Okay, yes, I get it. He's already knocked out. Go back to sleep. Wow, that's your whole day, huh? All right, cool. No, no back to sleep. But I want to get undressed. Right? Don't I take off my sweater to go to bed if I put it on? When I got up? Damn it. Go back to sleep, I guess. Time for nightmares. Puppy. Hey, buddy. I know things can get tough sometimes. Just don't forget to have fun, even if it all looks grim. Follow your heart and don't give up on anything or anyone. I will always be with you right by your side. We got this. This is going to make me cry. Because I can't handle puppies being sweet like that. Uh, oh no! <laughs> what happened? There's a huge slash across the back. Kind of like werewolves. Yeah, like. Okay. Okay. No more adventures for this warrior. Oh. Whoa. What could have made these? A werewolf. Werewolves. Oh, look, it took half the couch. Wow. An exquisite shelf, horizontal, but still exquisite. Oh, God. More stuffing than last Thanksgiving. Okay. Must have died during the night. No light. Half the best seat in the house. Okay. Destroy the TV. This thing has terrible reception. I would think so. Nope, nope. Well, the stove's off. So, you know. Hooray. <laughs> At least it isn't a fire hazard now. <laughs> Where a wolf knew how to turn off the stove, even though you couldn't figure it out. Can't turn away. Okay. Wow. Oh, everything's gone bad. Would you fall asleep for several days? That's what it did last time, too. Oh, did it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Everything's no. bad. Oh, God. He lives in a nightmare world. Uh oh. Baron's collar. Oh, puppy. Oh, God. You must be close by. Don't worry, buddy. I'm on my way. Baby, does this dog die in this game? I don't know. I don't know anything about this game. I will never forgive you. Oh. I'm making me play a game where the puppy dies. <laughs> Don't blame me. Blame this dev for cheap shot. Damn you, dev. <laughs> it's like, here's puppy dying. That's how you make people sad. I don't want to be sad. I don't play games to be sad. <laughs> There's a ledger set on this stump. Each page is smudged with damp ink. Record the journey so far. Yes. The ink sinks into the page and fades out. Your progress has been saved. The storm is getting worse. Going back to bed seems like a good idea. What? What? No. No rest. Only fight. Only fight. No rest. Whoa. What's that sound? Oh. 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 Cool. Wait, also, that's an axe. Cool. I think your character would just chop the wood. Nope. Choppy, choppy. 
I wish you would just chop it. But that's kind of Or cool. chop the other trees oh, that are in the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. And let me throw. Oh, God. Cookies. Oh, is this a puzzle? I'm guessing it is. Oh, yeah. Now you can go around it. Oh. Yeah, push that. Yeah. Ooh, rolly, 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 yeah, rolly. Yeah, first try. Yeah. There we go. <gasps> Oh god! What? What? That's the Demogorgon. It's just a nightmare. This isn't real. Oh, go no! Booga booga googa booga! Leave me alone! You aren't real! His feelings are hurt. He's like, what do you mean I'm not real? Baron is fine. It's just a dream. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh no, don't cry. I cry. Oh, we're fighting. Oh, combat of some sort. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, hit him in the eye or something. Oh. <laughs> oh okay, okay. Got it. Oh, wait, oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? What? What's happening? Oh my god! Oh, I think it's Simon Says. Oh. Uh. uh. Oh, do you need to press the numbers? Oh. Oh. Never mind. I'm so confused. Uh, uh, uh. Where is he? Um. Oh no! No! I click too soon. Oh, okay, 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 okay. No, I used to click the wrong thing. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to do this. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. This guy's a ton of health. Uh, yeah. Terrible. Give him back. <gasps> ah, I'm like, I'm failing. Okay, this is quite enough. Uh, uh. Oh, he talks another language. Oh, he jumped in the way like Piccolo. Oh, no, Piccolo. <laughs> <laughs> More crying. Don't give up. You can beat this. Time to wake up. Oh, God. Home at last. Where am I? What is this? Where is Baron? I want to know where the dog is, too. You're safe and in my library. Enlighten me on what a Baron is. My dog. He's more than that. Baron's my best friend. I see. I'm sorry to say things are a bit more complicated than you would like. What do you mean? Where is he? In a place beyond this world. I can help, but it will not be easy for either of you. Just tell me where he is. Please, calm yourself. I'm not your enemy. I, I'm sorry. None of this makes any sense. I didn't mean to snap at you. That's quite all right, Lore. Life doesn't always make sense. We make do with what we have. What? How do you know my name? I'll tell you when you're older. As for me, you may call me Binder. What do you he mean? He is you. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what? Your name is Binder. Feel free to look around. I will be setting the time. He okay. thinks his name is weird. He's named after a Star Trek character. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we look around. A baby also, the guy's like, what's a bear? And I expected him to be like, you know, it's like a ruler of a castle. <laughs> yeah. There's some weird um, names. <laughs> a baby book tower. It's cute. Okay. These books are glued together. You can't even pick them up. So they're just decorations. Little brown book. 
big red book. There's a ter terrarium with a large stick placed in the center. I see you found Agnes. Her bark is worse. Her oh yeah, her bark is worse than her bite. I can assure you. I thought I was reading that wrong for a second. There's a ledger resting on a table. Strange symbols litter the pages. Okay. Recur Okay, yes. Yeah, you did it. I did it. You beat the force fail. <laughs> <laughs> this place feels cozy and warm. Binder will understand if you take a nap. Rest for a while. No, no rest. I'm just gonna die. Gonna die. Papers in a strange runic text litter the table. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. More of this burka burka language. Dark siders are born from anomalies in the early stages of corruption. These creatures are twisted manifestations of the original inhabitants of the page. The host's mind and features are altered drastically as the corruption takes hold. The okay, the hosts. Oh man, I didn't know this game takes place in the Dark Siders universe. I guess you haven't <laughs> played those games. No, I have no idea. Uh, anomalies can manifest in different forms. Okay, progresses become corrupted. Corruption are highly unstable and impact each host differently. Okay. At the spine of the world, a guardian perceives every page simultaneously. Guardians can move freely between pages to record any and all events. The flood of information brought on by the power of the spine can be overwhelming. Oh. What? Why can't I skip this? Why can't I skip this? I already read that. Is this different? Does this game have hold spacebar to go faster? I don't know. I can find out. A guardian may only change events on a given page if the presence of anomaly is detected. Without such an anomaly, the guardian passes through a page unnoticed and invisible to inhabitants. Living as ghosts, the guardians wait and watch over the pages of creation. No. Oh, maybe? No. You have to mash, it sounds like. No. Yeah, no. No. What is this? Not RPG Maker? Ah! Okay. RPG Maker lets you hold space to go super fast. Oh, I restarted this. Okay, there we go. I thought I restarted it. Mama Book Tower guards her young. Okay. Papa Pap Pap Book Tower stands strong. What? Have you ever called Pap Pap? I've never heard that before. Hmm. Brother Book Tower hides behind his mama. The leather bound tomb shifts away when you reach for it. Don't worry, it's just shy around you people. <laughs> a strange research paper. How to prepare a dwarf in a jar. Wow, there's so much here. It's thriving despite the humble arrangement. This is definitely a staple of RPG Maker. Just make everything clickable and all have a bunch of annoying text in it. Which is kind of a detriment to me who wants to see what everything has to tell me or do. Because if I don't, I feel like I'm going to miss something. Yeah. There's a terrarium with a large stick placed in the center. Oh. What's this one named? That's just a stick. Oh, okay. Okay. Auntie Book Tower is spying on Uncle Book Tower. <laughs> what is Uncle Book Tower doing? The twin terrariums each have their own baby stickling. Okay. The stubborn red book is hot to the touch and refuses to open. Careful with that. There are only a few known to exist. Okay. Grandfather Book Tower guards his family from the north. I see you've met the Book Towers. Can you believe they all came from the same family tree? <laughs> you found a sock reading a book. Smart. Okay. I guess there's probably some achievement for getting all the socks. Yeah, that's interesting. An old dark carrot lays in a terrarium on the shelf. 
The label says, break glass in case of goblin. <sighs> Why would a goblin need a carrot? They want to be healthy. A small dog figurine sits solemnly in a glass display nestled between the books. Staring at the figurine, you are overcome with a sudden and intense loneliness. Hey, Binder. You may take him with you as long as you show him the respect he deserves. With Binder's blessing, you pocket the tiny dog figurine. Aww. Ah, that was missing an apostrophe. Oh, <laughs> I saw that too in the host thing. Thing. I don't remember. I don't know if you remember what I'm talking about. Oh, minus points. <laughs> it's important to stop and enjoy the little things. I'm glad you understand that. The clock is ready for you. Unfortunately, you must handle this trial alone. What? Oh boy, gameplay. What are you talking about? Yeah, there's a lot of just like <gasps> clicking. Not, yeah. not even clicking, like making touching stuff with my space bar. So it's good that you mentioned the whole like having just a bunch of stuff to click on because uh, you know, there's like a piece of game design wisdom that I've often heard, which is to protect players from themselves. So you don't want to give them things like that that'll like exhaust them. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm already like, oh, man, I went through all this, and now I'm like, did I miss anything? Do I want to go back now? Like, I, yeah. especially because that, like, sock collection thing, too, as well, and the dog figurine, I'm like, oh, there's stuff I can just randomly grab like that? Maybe I should go back and check everything now. Like, my brain is just, cannot let that go now. Yeah, meanwhile, I'm thinking, this is all probably pointless, so, like... yeah. <laughs> You could have blasted through this in like 10 seconds if you didn't click on everything. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> in order to save Baron, you will need to go somewhere I cannot. There is an artifact of great power trapped between worlds. This clock will take you to it. Can it really bring Baron back? I hope so. It's the best chance we have. I understand. Stand back. I will open the way through. A connection is established. Please step inside. Ooh, teleportation device. Hey, Binder. Yes, Lore. Thanks. Think nothing of it. You would do the same for me. Hope this works. Because he is you. One and the same. Oh, it teleported. This place is falling apart. I hope Binder was right. Oh, is it a puzzle? Oh, boy. Uh... Oh? Oh, I think I already figured it out. What is it? I don't know. I think know. it's very simple. <gasps> I'm overthinking it. Yeah. Do I just... Push? 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 I think those things on... Oh! That was unexpected. But I think the, uh... The poles need to be aligned with those arrows. With the arrows? What arrows? The pointy bits. These pointy bits? Oh, how do I align them? Uh, maybe turn them off first and then move. try to move them. No, not those. The, the posts, because it looks like they're on a track. Oh, these? Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Um, aligned with each other? Uh, just with the arrows. No, just flip the switches and see what happens first. Okay. Uh, maybe there's a way you can rotate them. I guess I should turn them off first. What does this say? Nothing? Can I do something like this? Um, rotate. Okay, I can't go up there. What? Oh my god. I can't mm. go...
What the heck? Oh. Oh, okay. I guess it just wasn't aligned. Um... Wow. A pixel away from victory. Um... <laughs> I'll turn it on again. Oh, wow. I didn't see the movement because it was... You said it's one pixel that it just moved? I didn't even see that. Yeah, it did move. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Wow. Great job getting through that. Let me know if you need help. Okay. Yeah, let me just ask for help from a disembodied voice. Quality plan. <laughs> I heard that. Oh. Why is he being a, a jerk for no reason? Yeah. Uh, okay. I want this up. Okay, no. Aha. Uh -huh. Give me this sock. Levitating sock. Space! Okay. So I guess you need Oh, that happened. Interesting. Oh, you did oh, it. Okay, sure. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> sure, that worked. I I knew it all along, guys. I knew exactly what to do. <laughs> this is the final challenge. The next room holds the artifact. All right. I'll try not to get lasered in space and stuff. Quality plan. Okay. Okay. We we. Uh yeah, lots of stuff. Can I? Yeah, I can. Uh, okay. So, am I supposed to like? All right. Oh, you got one of them, it looks like. Do you just push the other one and you're done? I think so. Oh, interesting. No. I think if you turn the right one on first, you'll be okay. Pretty easy stuff. Yeah. You're almost there. The artifact is just up ahead. Be careful, Lore. This okay. guy's evil. He looks like the monarch. <laughs> he does look... That's what I was trying to like. I was like, he looks like somebody. He... Hey, am I in there? Uh, nope. M for monarch. Uh -uh. Try T for the monarch. Mm, nothing. Wait, something's wrong. Finder, what's going on? I understand now. Oh, Laura, get out of. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm scared. Make it stop. We need this to save him. <laughs> oh, evil. Why is he evil now? The book. The book is evil. The book is evil. It's an Economicon. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. that it? Did you beat the demo? I beat it. <laughs> I did it. I was like you once. Full of hope, ambition, curiosity, fear. Now I am here. Trapped in this, here in this prison, waiting place for you. Oh god, I'm reading this all over the place. Here in this place, waiting for you. Show me why he chose you. Show me why you matter. Wake up, Lore. Are we going to meet Data now? Wake up and prove yourself. <laughs> yes, let's meet Data. And we're up. 
Poppy alive. Poppy alive. <laughs> Ready as can be. Can we go back to bed? <laughs> what I want, but not what I need. What? You, what? It is what I need. Oh. Maybe he needs to hug puppy. <gasps> you can't run this time. Oh god, which way am I going? You've never been able to run. Yeah. Uh, is there? Oh, he's holding the book. Okay. You failed him. No, I didn't. You shut up. It's your fault. I don't like this. Don't give up now. Not yet. Okay. All right. You're already out for blood. What are you waiting for? Yeah, murder. Murder time. I murdered the tree. Okay. Oh, this is where we came from. Um, okay. I'm like, I want to explore all everything. Oh, this wasn't what I wanted. Not like this. Okay. Picked up a page. He's not coming back. No. A sock! Shadowy sock. All the socks. The puppy food. Puppy. Puppy, no. You did this. You did this? What? What? His collar. You're not a space You weren't man. there for him. Now he's gone. What do you mean? I'm just a child. Hey, couldn't save him from a spaceman that shoots lasers? It feels good knowing what you did. What kind of person you are. What? Everything is going to be okay. Just keep moving. Didn't you run out of places to go? Uh... Yeah, um... Um... Hmm... Go then. Oh, um, go back to bed. Yeah, go back. Oh, there we go. See where hope takes you. Ah, ah. Can you feel it? The love tonight? And you feel <laughs> your love tonight. Oh, creepy. Look at that. What is that? Oh, oh God. Okay. How do I get there? Not that way. Down here. Going someplace. Wait. I came from here? No. Tentacles. Uh, this way? You can't fight him. Go call the cops. <laughs> There's a ledger set on nightmares. Let's call it nightmares. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Progress has been saved. The air is cold and clings to your skin. This place can't be real. Maybe if you wake up, it'll all go away. Try to wake up? Yes, wake up. All right, you did it. I'm out of here. Oh, you have like uh, RPG stuff in your room now. Interesting. No need to get dressed a second time. Okay, I can't do anything. I guess that though. means it was all real. My puppy. Where's my puppy? The light's fixed. Ah! Oh. 
Damn it. Oh, damn it. No, don't record. You're not ready. So far, the greatest threat to you is uh, accidentally hitting Alt F4. <laughs> the, uh... Uh, story ends here. <gasps> Enough. All you do is lie. I don't care about you or any of this. I just want to find Baron and go home. So let me get on with it. Good luck, kid. You're going to need it. Uh, okay. Oh. 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 It's the same guy. Dipper, 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 dipper. Yeah. I don't care what you are. Get out of my way. Oh, oh, Just this run again. Past him. Oh, I don't remember any of this anymore. Oh, oh. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, right. I'm supposed to move. Take that. Feel, 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 feel. Yeah. Take that. Okay. It's cussing me out. Stop talking and fight. Do we really want to antagonize him? One, two, three. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take that. Ah, murder. Ah, no. No. Oh, damn it. I always oh. not move on that one. Take that. Oh, one, two. No, nah, I wasn't oh, didn't click or something. Yeah, something. Okay. Blurp, 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 blurp. I said stop talking. Okay. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I kept trying to click. Damn it. Okay, this is not going well right now. Yeah, I wonder if you're supposed to win this time. Uh, 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 uh. Too much! Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. Oh, no. Oh, no! No! I'm getting overwhelmed. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Oh, god. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I don't know why uh, it switches between, like, mouse and keyboard controls. Yeah, it really throws me off because I'm expecting to do the keyboard or the mouse continue, and I don't remember which one's which. My brain's too small for that. I mean, most games don't, like, switch how the game is controlled. I don't know. Don't give up. No. Don't say that. Don't say anything. This is your chance. Okay. Oh, you did super damage. Okay, sure. Super power! I did a spirit bomb. You were right. Your story isn't over. The demo but is. is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Baron? Oh, this can't be happening. Don't leave me alone. Not after all of this. How touching. Am I interrupting you? No, 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 no. Please leave us alone. We just want to go home. Oh, the puppy. You earned this. You both did. <laughs> oh. I won't let you do this. I won't let you hurt him. I won't let you hurt anyone. Oh, uh, you became Super Saiyan somehow. <laughs> yes. You can't stop me. Not yet. <gasps> A 
happy. Oh. Oh. Um. What? Oh. You click on things. I click on something. Do I click where I want to go? Is that what? Maybe. Let's go here. <laughs> she just fucking <laughs> tossed me the book. I was like. Whoop. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, there. Oh, I was like, what the? I yeah. guess you died. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what's happening? So you did it. You actually finished him. Hope it felt good. Enjoy this moment. Just leave me alone. Oh, okay. Or what? Or nothing, I guess. <laughs> It's almost time anyway. Time for what? Animus. Twisted. Trapped. Lost souls. Okay. Twist, you're both dead. Hey! Sorry to say that's all we have right now. The rest of the game isn't finished yet. It will be soon, though. Thor, Shay, and Stitch, 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 work on it every day. Thor should probably sleep more, but nobody can stop him at this point. I really hope you like what comes next. Anyway, see you later. Aw, oh, Poppy. Thanks for playing Heartbound. We hope you like the game so far. Live dev streams. Pirate software dot live. Join the community. Discord GG Pirate Software. Get the birch. Bleep 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 bleep. Give more money. Give me your money. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh I guess uh I guess we uh oh. Wait. We're back. <gasps> Look at that stuffed animal. Hello? Going back to seem seems like a bad idea. Okay, that's uh, clicky click click. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are these things? Yeah, I wonder if these are chapters. I think I heard that there's three chapters. Oh, only, only two of them are available. Oh. Uh, uh, I don't know what this is doing. I don't know if it'll... Oh, never mind. Oh, it's just going through the same thing. Alright, well. I'm just going to exit this. There you go. Alright, everyone. Uh, we did the research, and it concludes uh, it is not made an RPG maker. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! Yeah, I mean, the guy streams his his dev work and I think he built the engine himself or it's built out of something. Else. It's very clearly not RPG maker, yeah. but, uh, man, definitely watching you play this. Like it just feels like an RPG maker game. It does so little that you, th I don't really know what it needs, what it does that couldn't be done in RPG maker. I know he's said something about the lighting being ray tracing or something. But even the rate lighting didn't seem super advanced to me. I mean, it's cool, but I don't know. It's not like pixel perfect and like doing a bunch of like shading and stuff on like 3D models. So it's not too complicated. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't have that much experience with RPG Maker lighting, but just seeing like um, way back when, when I was helping you with some of the mapping on your on a cell sore and stuff and um I looked into like the parallax mapping and doing lighting that way with the layers and stuff. It seemed like what was in there could have possibly maybe been done that way. Maybe not as like smooth, but still plausible. Yeah. Uh, the rain effect was a bit of a head scratcher, but I feel like the stuff could have been done. But even then, like, 
like how much of this game is like like how much does that help the game oh it has cool lighting like there's a light that gets cast and you can see that soda can casting a shadow like does that make that big of a difference yeah um the whole walking around in the darkness in the cave though with just like the spotlight is that something that you can do in rpg maker absolutely there are so many games that are just like horror games that are just like you're dark and there's a spotlight on you (laughs) okay yeah yeah so I mean, from my very limited experience with RPG Maker, I would have thought it would have been an could be an RPG Maker game for sure. Yeah, so. especially the design of the game is just like walking around, clicking on things, and then like yeah, yeah, text boxes. Like all of this stuff is like things that RPG Maker can do. Yeah, there's like plugins to handle like the animated busts and stuff too. Mm-hmm. And there are ways to get more frames of animation on like and like idle animations and stuff. And there's uh, it looked like the game had pixel movement, but there's plugins for that too, so that's possible. Yeah. So yeah, it definitely has all the hallmarks of a lot of RPG Maker games, where it's just walking around, clicking on things, words get said. Mm-hmm. Uh, the combat would have taken a lot of eventing to get done and to make it look as good as this did, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, how much? It does look better than a lot of the RPG Maker stuff, but I have also seen like people who put an extreme amount of effort in the RPG Maker. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just for me, it's like I if you're gonna spend all this time to make like an engine and stuff, I'd like to see something that's a little more like interesting in terms of like more gameplay and like mm-hmm. something. Like, well, what? Why this? This feels like an RPG Maker game, right? I mean, maybe like. On on their defense, maybe it's easier if they have the knowledge to be able to make their own, um, uh, what's it called, like software or whatever to make the game. Because like I've seen you like with your working on your current game, how you work with the plugins and sometimes stuff doesn't work and you have to figure that out. Like that does take a lot of extra work. So if you have the know-how and just making it yourself and it's easier that way, then I guess I can understand making your own, but like, I don't know. Yeah. There's always a, uh, like, I guess you have to do like research when it comes to engines to be like, how much time would it take to get the things I want uh, versus doing it myself? You know, if you actually have that knowledge. Yeah. And uh, this game, oh boy, this is even better because I forgot that I have this plugin that's telling me. I opened the store page to read it. Uh, it released in uh, on December 24th, 2018. Oh. And there's only been, from what I understand, one major content update in that whole time. So it's like all the stuff we've seen, that's like all the game that's been made and like six years <laughs> wow yeah and i have this up i have this plugin that's telling me that apparently the last update was 11 months ago so uh i don't know i i would think that i think that you're right for the amount of complexity that he's going for then yeah he probably would be reasonably fast to just do it yourself mm-hmm. especially since i've heard him talk about like how this thing can run out of toaster and i know that rpg maker has terrible um optimization right yeah but like i don't know dude you could have whipped this game up in rpg maker in like a year or two (laughs) i mean it's possible uh, you know yeah i mean most of the work would be done on like the sprite work and stuff and the custom art Mm -hmm. which um the the pixel art um for the human walking around was yeah okay whatever um the dog was really cute and then the pop-up picture for the dog when they're doing the talking i thought was super cute but like the human i'm just like meh all right whatever (laughs) yeah so yeah this guy caught my interest because as i mentioned he has uh his YouTube shorts and he streams a lot and he talks about mm-hmm. he talks a big game he gives a lot of advice to people but some of these shorts I'm wondering if like his stream is just him sitting at the start screen and not working on his game and just talking to chat 
<laughs> oh god. Yeah, some of the reviews I've read about this game have talked about, you know, the thing I mentioned, how it's first came out in 2018 and they feel like it's never going to be finished. Yeah, that's uh that's <laughs> only four years away from being ten years. Right? Yeah. So that hmm questionable. Questionable yeah, choices. For the amount of game that we've seen, I'm like not really sure uh where the time is going. Yeah. That is a head scratcher, I guess. But yeah, the guy he seems he seems like a nice guy, but I don't know, my spider sense is tingling. Uh <laughs> well, I can tell you, like, I've never seen his videos, like, sat down and actually watched them, but I caught glances of him when you're watching stuff, and I'm always like, who's, who's this guy? Ah, uh, okay, weirdo. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. There's just, like, a couple times where I've heard him talk, and I just, he feels, like, I don't know this, I don't know him personally, I don't know anything about him, but the attitude that comes across is very, like, I know this. So therefore, I'm going to give you my knowledge and like, like maybe overly confident, especially yeah. now that I've played this and I'm just like, I guess. <laughs> he definitely seems like he gives advice like too much. Like, you know, he definitely is going for that cult of personality. Mm -hmm. And like, I know some of his advice kind of made my eyes roll because I remember him giving some advice about AI and being like, Oh, well, you just you just have to learn, and then so long as you learn something, you'll be then life is meaningful or something. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah that's like rich people thinking. It's like some people need to like <laughs> earn a paycheck week to week to pay the rent. Like we can't afford to lose your job to AI for any amount of time, you know? Oh, yeah, like because people are talking about how AI is going to take over their job, so they're he's just like, we'll just learn something else. Yeah, he's like, well, either you learn to use it. Sorry, I'm doing, I'm talking funny because the other thing about him is that people always talk about his, his deep voice and how great it sounds. Oh. And so there's some discussion about whether he's using some mic manipulation to make his voice deeper or if it's his mm -hmm. actual voice. Because there are recordings of him in the past where his voice is higher pitched. Went back to the doctor. Doctor's like, hey, sometimes in your early 30s, your voice can change as a man and it's effectively second puberty. This is what I used to sound like. That's what I used to look like to this five years ago. Wait for this. This is awful. My hot dogs are freshly picked. I'm going to have to peel it. I'm going to yeah. have to peel my hot dog. Yeah, that was it, dude. Every good hot dog needs to be peeled. Mm -hmm. And my theory is that he's just, he's just putting on an affectation. He's just talking like that. Oh. Because, uh, I don't know, it reminds me of wrestlers like Randy Orton. I feel like that's <laughs> not like... Or Shawn Michaels. I'm like, there's no way that's what their voice sounds like. Mm -hmm. Like on a daily... Basis. Yeah, it's, just, it's like, oh, I'm gonna beat you in a fight. Uh -huh. But anyway, so that's another part of his shadiness that people are like, is that really his voice? Well, going off of somebody who likes to spend a lot of time watching true crime and psychology videos and all that kind of social construct type of stuff... Um, having a deep voice can sometimes emphasize on someone trying to be confident and come across as like, st like stable in what they're talking about, like trying to sell you something, right? Because if you sound really sure of what you're saying, people aren't going to question you as much unless they know those things already, right? Like, because you're casual person is not necessarily going to know that when a salesperson is trying to like sell you something they're going to put on these different type of personalities and if they know the tips and tricks they're going to use their voice they're going to use their their body and all of that stuff and based off of what you're saying it just sounds like you know like i said he's coming across overconfident right to try yeah. and like really be like yeah listen to me i know what i'm saying right but yeah. again I don't know this person. I'm just guessing. <laughs> he tends to speak with a lot of certainty and he's, you know, given life advice and job advice and stuff. And I'm like, but he's also mentioned that his father, like, is the lead cinematics director or something for Blizzard mm -hmm. for like 20 years or something. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, his 
So yeah, it's it's no it's it's real easy to get into a job in the gaming industry if you just uh you know, follow your advice, huh? Is that what it is? The advice, not your dad? Right. Yeah, and you know, like we don't know his life, at least I don't know his life story and his situation, but a lot of the times that's the networking that you have is because a parent is in the industry and it's easier for you to get into it that way and you don't get to go through the same struggles that people that don't have that immediate connection to that world. And I think it does kind of alter your perception of things, whether they're aware of it or not. Right. And that's just, that's, that's kind of not his fault. That's just the coin he was dealt and the rest of us weren't dealt such a shiny coin. Right. So we have a different perspective of it, but at the same time, like you as a, if you were trying to like give people this game advice or even life advice in like, yeah, just learn this. Like you have to take the time to kind of self-reflect and see where you're coming from and whether or not that actually is valuable to your, to your audience, to the people that aren't in the same position that you are, because it's not going to be the same. Like not everybody has that, you know? So yeah. And he's obviously very like talented and smart. So I guess that's kind of the other things that he's like, I'll just try and learn this, you know, coding thing. Cause I guess mm-hmm. he's primarily worked in like security for like, mm-hmm. or cybersecurity type jobs. Oh, okay. So he just transitioned mm-hmm. into like game coding and stuff. Right. Um, so he's like, yeah, just learn. Just, you just do it and then you'll put it. And it's like, no, this, this stuff's really hard. Like not everybody can figure this out. Yeah. So he, he definitely yeah. comes from a place of like privilege of like, having the opportunities and the money to just learn stuff. And he's just like, yeah, just put your mind to it. You could do anything. It's like, well, <laughs> yeah, you know, and that's kind of like a dangerous combination too. Like when you're both smart and you have some privilege, like it's really difficult sometimes to <laughs> bring yourself down a little to the average Joe who might not be as smart and isn't as privileged and kind of see how much more difficult it is than for your own experience like yeah someone can take the time to learn but you kind of have to sit there hours on end but you also need to make money and then you probably have family to take care of or some other responsibilities it's really hard sometimes to find the time in there and someone's gonna tell you like well if you really want it you're gonna do it okay sure it's still hard though it's not that easy yeah so, you know, his positive attitude and positive advice, it feels good, but uh, it kind of feels like he's, I don't know, what, what are those people called? The, uh, the people that sell those books, the advice books. The self-help people? Yeah, he kind of sounds like that to me, I guess. Where it's like, yeah, you can put your mind to anything. Yeah, yeah, and, see, and, and that's the thing, like, that's kind of why, like, a lot of those people sometimes don't actually go through the struggles, right? And then they just sell what they know and they try and sell it to you by being overconfident about it and just kind of pull you into this without really knowing you as an individual, what your struggles are. It's really, it's nice to have people that are really optimistic like that, but it's also kind of dangerous um, just because a lot of the times the people that are going to be listening to you might be in a really like, detrimental state of mind and you kind of like are over your being overly positive that it becomes actually toxic to the point where like if things aren't working they're gonna they're gonna put it all on themselves like then i'm just not good enough then i'm the problem right like if all if this guy says it's like this then maybe it's just me i'm the problem and that kind of takes people in like off a deep end sometimes so that's why there is such a thing as like toxic positivity. Like if you if you if it's too much, you're not being realistic enough. Yeah. But in like, uh, moving aside from <laughs> attacking him, I guess quote unquote attacking him, talking about him in regards to the game, like it just feels like yeah, an RPG maker game to me. Yeah. I guess I guess that was a very long-winded way of saying, <laughs> uh, you know, I've I've been kind of wondering if this game is a scam, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, after playing the game, it kind of feels a little bit like 
I don't know, like he knows what there what needs to be there in order for it to look like a game, so it looks like a game, but uh I wonder if it is a scam. <laughs> right. Yeah, cuz like looking at it, right? Yeah, in that first pass, like, yeah, okay, cool. It's a cute game, but then there's just there's like I I definitely got overwhelmed going down that alley or hallway of a bunch of stuff to click. Like that is such a like a hole for people that want to be completionists as well or something like that. You're just going to spend 20 minutes clicking on everything, making sure you didn't miss a single thing because you don't because my brain goes, I don't know, maybe I'll find something here that I need later on. Right. Because that's just how my brain works. So I'll just stay there all day clicking everything. Um, and that can definitely wear you out by the end because at the end I'm just like oh my god I just spent all that time clicking and like nothing actually came from it what was that for <laughs> like what was the point yeah and it turns out it's a good thing you did because if you didn't the, we would have beaten the game in like 10 minutes yeah yeah it would have gone so super quick and then like the combat to me although individualistically like every phase of it was pretty simple and like i got what i was supposed to do i got overwhelmed with the constant changing of which controls did what so even though it was flashing on my screen telling me do this or do that like my maybe my brain too tiny i'm not smart i don't know <laughs> uh but when it started to get like faster and stuff it definitely I definitely got like super flustered and I didn't know what I was doing. And I, at, at that point, I was just mashing buttons. I was trying to do something. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know, maybe there's a little, maybe just don't change so drastically which buttons I'm clicking or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's what weird the, the game doesn't have that. mouse controls. And then a lot of that is control with the mouse. Yeah, it's weird. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I guess for me, I'd say there's like flaws i would consider that a flaw of the design uh and also just in general the feeling i got from that combat was like a collection of quick time events not so much like combat i guess yeah it definitely was just like reaction based like just quick do this quick do that and i was like okay okay <laughs> yeah so i guess for me it kind of fails that like like the concept of the video game is always just you're just pushing buttons right mm -hmm. but kind of the illusion you're supposed to achieve is it should feel like you're making some choices well it feels like you're a thing doing it you're like a person doing mm -hmm. a thing you're a person swinging an axe or you're yeah you're, you know you feel like you're in the game mm -hmm. and that's why quick time events usually fail because they feel too disconnected where it's like press x to just do all the dodging it's like uh yeah um the puzzles were cute they weren't super complicated they're pretty simple um at first i wasn't sure what i was supposed to do so i probably would have spent a little bit more time there if you weren't there being like hey you should try this but then once <laughs> once you said that i was like oh okay yeah i get what you're saying got it <laughs> too good at the puzzle games i've seen them too many times yeah and i'm just like oh, what do <laughs> it's like oh it's a light puzzle or a connect the tubes puzzle got it mm -hmm. yeah uh, so I don't know. For me, I would probably put. I'd probably. I'm pro. I'm kind of hard on the gameplay because it was uh, too far apart, and like there really wasn't anything for like the exploring of the levels, and it didn't feel like the game had become a game at any point. Like it was just like. I, uh, could... yeah. I okay, to me, it literally felt. I mean, that is what RPG is, right? Like it literally felt like a book that I was reading, and then I just had an occasion here and there where I could actually do s interact with it, but it felt very like go this way, go that way. And then just read all this. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I would put it in the category of like walking simulator. It's like a derog derogatory term, but with like one combat that you do twice and then one set of puzzles. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm looking at the tags on the store page and it doesn't have walking simulator on there. So I'm like, Oh, <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, RPG, no, it's a walking simulator. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. That's because it gives me that feeling. Uh, for me, I would say the gameplay is like three. It's just not like 
it's cool because there's a lot of bespoke stuff, but like, I don't know, it doesn't really seem that engaging or have the right consistency. Yeah, I definitely agree with the three as well. Narrative, I'm a bit, uh, I don't know, I had, I did read some reviews that kind of made me raise an eyebrow that maybe I shouldn't have read them because now I'm thinking the same thing. Oh, well, can I tell you how I feel first before you share? Sure, maybe that's a good idea that you go first then. So, like, the narrative, basically, like, you know, how the story is going, the what's being said and all that, to me, felt like I was some sort of emo kid getting a pep talk of, like, don't give up on life, blah, 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 <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. and then... And then my dog's involved. And for me, I'm very empathetic when it comes to dogs and dogs or animals in general and their suffering. So I was just like, no, my puppy. So I felt even more like in this emo hole. And it's just like, it almost felt a little like I get kind of where that story is going, right? Like you have to find your hope and the thing that you're moving forward to and all that stuff. But it felt a little too much of that, that it almost felt disingenuous to me at one point. I was just like, okay, all right, I get it. Like, yeah. Yeah, that is kind of what the review was saying. Was that like, well, one person was so, I don't know, this, this is a bit harsh, but they said that they feel like it's a game about depression written by, written by someone who doesn't have depression. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Actually, yeah, that's a very good way of putting it. That does what it, yes. <laughs> that is a good way of putting it. Because uh, it feels like the, st that's why I said emo, because it's like the stereotype of what being sad is. <laughs> uh, and I just felt, I don't know, I kind of feel like it's cheap to just be like, hey, look at this cute dog. Your dog's dead. You got to save him. It's like, oh boy. Yeah, exactly. That's definitely like such an easy string to pull at. Um, so I can see where your statement is of it's such a like cheap trick in order to add some emotional reaction to what's going on. Yeah. What is otherwise a pretty nonsense story of just stuff happening. Yeah. Like here's the monarch you got, he's, he's, a, he's a weirdo. <laughs> Click on all these books. Uh. The monarch. <laughs> oh, your dad is maybe abusive or something. Yeah. Go outside. Oh, your mom is like an alcoholic. Okay. Yeah, it's just, I, it didn't feel like, it felt like bullshit. I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> yeah, which is, so here's the thing, like, depression and all of that is such a complicated thing. Like, yes, being raised in those type of environments can make you a very, like, depressed individual and all the hardships and all that. But you can also not be raised in those things and still suffer through a lot of hardship because depression is sometimes just like a chemical imbalance in your brain. And even though things are all perfect, right, everything's perfect, you just can't see the bright side of anything. And I think that's something that if you're going to try and tackle on on a depression game about depression and getting through hardships and all of that stuff. Like that's something that needs to be acknowledged because like, it's not gloom and doom for everybody that suffers any sort of mental health difficulty. Yeah. So I don't know about you, but kind of leaning towards like a four or three, because I mean, it kind of did succeed in like immersing you in the world and stuff, but Oh yeah. It was just like, there was stupid things that took me out of it. <laughs> I would I would give it a four just because if I try not to think about it, right? I try to, as I say, when I watch some movies, if I don't think about it, I just put my dumb brain on and don't try to overthink it. It's fine. It does what it wants to do. It gets the point across and it's not like overly, I don't know, cliche, even though it kind of is. It's fine. So I'd say a four. Sure. So I couldn't hear the audio super good. So I actually don't know what to rate the audio here. Oh, okay. Oh, I hope it comes through in the video then. I thought I, I thought I could hear really well, actually. I thought it was uh, cute, but I guess I don't know if it's like original audio or anything like that. 
Well, that's always hard to judge because it's pretty standard. Because obviously this is an RPG maker, so they don't have mm -hmm. RTP to lean on. Uh, but th the sound, the audio industry as, as a whole, there's a lot of like stock sound effects that just kind of get used. There's, you know, there's like the Wilhelm scream and stuff that everyone kind of like recognizes. Mm -hmm. But on the whole, that is a thing that happens a lot. A lot of the same sounds are just kind of cycled around and kind of expect that's probably the case. The main thing would probably be like, I don't know, just how it's implemented and like the music and stuff. Can't really worry about what's stock and what not. Yeah. Well, uh, so based off of that, I thought it was pretty good. I did like how there's like those creepy sounds when we're like trying to figure out what happened and just like. There was enough like difference in the audio for me between scenes and stuff that I I think it's worth saying a five. Sure, uh, visuals I thought got the job done pretty well, but you're the one that's the art person who's going to be hard on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, for mm, okay, so I think it's cute. I think it is well done enough. Um, I would have thought without knowing that it's not RPG Maker, that it was just like some simple art somebody slapped over on RPG Maker, right? Um, the most impressive thing about it was like the 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 window lighting shadow stuff that happened with the lightning and stuff. And then um, when the image pops up when they're talking, I thought those were all pretty well done. Um, but like the pixel art of the individual itself walking around i felt like could need work the hallway where all the stuff was there was really cute uh i thought it was really cute because i i love cluttered environment that is my go-to thing like i play second life and all that stuff so i get to decorate and so i always just clutter everything because I love the homey vibe it gives. <laughs> so for me, I was like, oh, that's so cute. It's great. And it was all like witchy and goth. Well, not goth, but like that uh, dark ac academic aesthetic for me. It's great. I love that. Um, so that won me over. I did like um, the spooky vibes of the like cave or dream world that we were in. The monster reminded me of the Demogorgons or whatever they're called from Stranger Things. Stranger Things, yeah. So it's not bad. I thought some stuff could do more work as for something that's done like completely on their own from scratch in their own, you know, like system and all of that. Uh, I definitely would have expected more, to be honest. Yeah. If it was just like some. Somebody that said it's on RPG Maker, I would have even given it like a six. Um, but because I know it's their own thing, I expected more. So I give it a four. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, that's probably where I am. Because it doesn't really, it just doesn't really grab me. It kind of works. It's fine. That's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, and which is exactly like the same feeling that I have. It works, right? Um, so it gets... It gets the point across. Like, I think the whole game it's, is that it's fine. It gets its points across. It gets done what it wants. So uh, mapping, I guess. Boy, this game does have mapping, just like RPG Maker. Uh, there's some, you know, cool details and stuff in terms of, like, little bespoke adjustments to, like, the tile set here and there mm -hmm. and object placement. But... On the whole, I, it just feels kind of basic. I don't know. It doesn't really... Like, I'm looking at this image of his bedroom to remind myself, and I'm like, yeah, his bedroom feels a little I don't know, empty, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah. It was all very basic when it comes to mapping. Like, when we were in the forest area, there's some spots where I thought I should have been able to, like, walk behind the tree, around the tree, but I just couldn't. And I'm like, mm, okay, I guess. <laughs> like, why can't I just walk around it? Yeah, and there's also no exploration. You just have these kind of big areas you can walk around in, but there's no, which I guess isn't, I guess that falls into under gameplay because it's like there's no systems designed to like feed into. So there's no mm -hmm. like treasure chests or, and there's no combat to like find and find special bosses. So it's just, it's just walking around what's essentially a linear map. There's not really like. Yeah, it, it genuinely, to me, it felt like, 
I, I don't know if you've ever been to like a Halloween maze or something like you're a rat being led in these aisles and they're all just decorated nice so it looks like they're different but you're you're very much being led to the end right like you're actually not exploring you're just moving where the map is making you go like i couldn't just go around and explore around the trees wherever i wanted or anything like that it was just very go this way yeah no real sense of exploration yeah so i don't know i'd probably do another three or four or something i guess i'll give it a four just because i did even though it was a little annoying, I did kind of enjoy the whole like in the darkness and having to kind of walk around. That was kind of cool. It was a little extra ex like exploring factor, even though it was still kind of linear because you could really only go this way or that way. So but it was still kind of like a neat trick to make you feel like it matters what you're doing. <laughs> that it's not just a, a maze, like a lion yeah. maze. Yeah. That's another stereotype or of rpg maker games it's just stupid line mazes <laughs> yeah so you know that was fine so i'll do it for okay technical i guess i'll speak to this i guess it's maybe a five because he made his own engine so it's like cool but like it doesn't do anything cool so <laughs> it just works five for effort on making your own engine <laughs> you did it you made your own engine congratulations you could Good have job, made bud. it an rpg maker <laughs> so i guess <laughs> I guess I'm giving you an extra point for not using RPG Maker. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, value. Oh, yeah, we actually do know the price of this because people are actually able to buy this game. Oh, okay. He's taking people's money for this <gasps> not unfinished game that I'll never be finished, probably. Give me your money. He says it costs $10. No. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, from what we've seen so far, and if this is like, if this is two-thirds of the game, that's seems insane to me yeah um i'm gonna assume it's one third and maybe there's less because it's a demo mm -hmm. but yeah even if that was like what we played was tripled i don't know i don't, I don't know it doesn't pretty short for ten dollars yeah and i don't think there's enough different things yeah because i'm imagining if i played it too and i wouldn't have clicked on everything like that means i can beat this whole game and like an yeah if you just like something. beelined Unless it yeah one hour <laughs> yeah um i'd say five dollars is where it should be at probably yeah five dollars is where it's like it's like whatever it's it's a burger doesn't matter <laughs> maybe one extra dollar for it just being his own engine but <laughs> yeah, that's not something a consumer has got to worry about so does that mean the value is pretty low i mean i guess the value also loses points because we don't know if this game's ever going to be finished so yeah that is very questionable and that does make the value go down a little bit for me so it's been almost fifty thousand years and it's not done yeah i don't know i might give it like a two or something i was actually gonna say two as well perfect <laughs> oh boy impression Okay, uh, overall impression. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hmm, do you have a score you're thinking of? Although I guess in editing you changed your score last time. <laughs> I did because I thought about it once I was editing the video and I was like, "You know what? No, I was being too harsh on that one." But this one, I think I feel like it deserves a little bit of harshness because you got to put your money with how does that phrase go? Like Put your you money where your mouth is. Yeah, that one. You got you talk big game. You got to put it out, right? So that is true. It is kind of funny to see like this super confident guy be like, "I know everything about game design." And then I play. We play his game, and it's like this is like an RPG maker game, like a first RPG maker game that someone makes. Mm -hmm. It's like you walk around and have one combat and do one puzzle, <laughs> like. Yeah, and that's like the thing is not it's not, it's not even anything wrong with if it was a RPG maker game. It's just that it's too simple for someone who gives advice and does all this developer talk on games. I would have expected more. Than yeah, someone with who also, you know, cuz a lot of these RPG maker devs, they're just 
the reason why we use RPG Maker is because we're nobodies and we got nothing. We got no, mm-hmm. we got no support. <laughs> uh, but he's he's big. He's a big boy in the big time, and he's got all kinds of all kinds of opportunities and all kinds of people he can work with to mm-hmm. make something amazing. So it's just like I really just expected more, especially if he's talking such big game all the time about how smart he is and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, mean I, I guess I should point out, like, I'm sure people feel that way about me when they see my game and they're like, oh, I don't care about your game, but come on, man. Like, I have, like, combat and systems design, at least. I don't know. Yeah, I, like, so maybe it's a little biased because obviously, you know, you're my partner, etc. But from what I've seen from your game, there seems like a lot more going on than what I just saw. So... Yeah, I like stuff in my game. And, you know, like, maybe that's... The thing is, is also some of it might be a matter of opinion where people want a more simplified game and people want more in their game, right? Like, that's also kind of something to consider. But, like, I don't know, dude. If you are talking big game, show me a little more. Show me a little bit more leg. Don't just give me an ankle. Give me the whole leg. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, so I think overall for B, ooh, based off of that, I'd have to say like a D. Ooh, brutal. So, uh, sorry about it. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's funny because I feel like I'm obligated to give a C minus minus, but I gotta remember this is this is the impression of how I feel about the game, not how you know other people do. Yeah. Sometimes I trick myself and think about like well i could see how other people would care i'm like no this part's for me (laughs) yeah and i think this game is boring and pointless oh Oh, god so but you know i can't ignore that like yes it doesn't waste Mm -hmm. my time which is one of my major things i always give people points on like well it doesn't waste my time i love it yeah but uh and also has great good presentation and stuff so you know the worst the worst games are just like walking around in a very empty thing and there's there's just so like just nothing there's just so nothing and there's at least certain things that kind of uh gave me a sense of drama i guess mm-hmm. so there's some level of intrigue i do kind of get this sense that after you finished it i was kind of like oh that's it like <laughs> yeah yeah uh, so where am I thinking? Um, yeah, maybe I'll give it a, like a, I guess I'll give it a, it's, maybe this seems dumb because I just gave it to the last game, but I'll do a D plus plus. Oh my God. You and your such weird <laughs> rating situations here. Yeah. I mean, like overall, look, it's not bad. It's not terrible. It's cute. Yada, yada, but it's not enough and it's definitely not enough from the background um, that you've given me about the person and what I have seen, the small clips of him talking, like, it's not enough for me to be like, yes, this is this is on par with what I expected from this person. It's not. Yeah. Like, I feel like if I saw this show up on the RPG Maker forums and it's like, hi, I'm some guy, this is like my second or third game, and, uh, Mm-hmm. I've spent the last year or two on this. I'd be like, wow, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I probably would have like been less harsh and maybe given something higher. And maybe that's wrong, right? To be comparing it based off the individual as we know know them and because we have more access to know about this person. So we're kind of being a little harsher and whatever. But that's the thing, though. Like, when you put yourself out there like that, it's going to happen. <laughs> Yeah. But, you know, he could have just distracted us by having, like, more game, good game, I don't know. Just more something. Yeah. Yeah. What are you writing for the notes here? Uh, Something like, I know what sadness is, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, I'm the guy from the internet who knows what sadness is. I'll tell you, it'll be alright. I think, honestly, just... Don't worry. Be happy. (laughs) (laughs) Sure. Don't worry. Be happy. The guy said. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So, yeah. It's 
cute, but it's not, it's not where it should be. And it's just, what's, what's the phrase a little too on the nose to just like. Yeah, that's definitely a good way to put it. Yeah. It's very, it almost feels cynical of like the guys play, seeing a couple of these indie uh, themes of depression games. And he's just like, I can do that. That's easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. It's like, perhaps it, if you have all these skills and knowledge and, you know, years of experience and people supporting you, perhaps you should have aimed a little higher. <laughs> yeah, something more. And like I said, like, we don't know this person. We don't know his own life struggles or anything like that. It's just based off of what is portrayed and the information that is out there. And based off of that, it just seems... Mm. <laughs> not not coming from a like firsthand experience on some of that stuff so it feels a little empty and you know maybe he has had his own troubles or whatever but doesn't want to like dig in deep and point that across so it's just doing surface level stuff and if that's the case my dude i recommend you to dig in deeper because that's what people will actually connect to at the end of the day <laughs> 